What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Kicker Scuba and Ram. We're out here in front of the lake and if you are a Facebook fanatic, you probably saw a post by Brent Starnes where he posted that he saw some bubbles out here and he wasn't sure what it was. And to be honest, this post has kind of went viral, so we're actually very intrigued by it. We want to go out and investigate it for ourselves. So we're going to head right out to where he was at and, and we've kind of got it triangulated to based off what his video and his pictures was and we're going to see if we can find the exact same bubbles you know a lot of people are saying it's aerators that it's an underwater sinkhole we even had some guy or girl re respond on there and said that it was a rip in time where 2019 and 2020 meet so we're actually going to go out see exactly what it is for you guys and we're going to take a camera down and for safety concerns I'm going to be using my full face mask. This way I can actually communicate here at the surface. I've actually got my dad here with me on the boat. So he's going to have a comm unit here at the surface as well. And that way I can communicate back and forth. And hopefully the camera will pick up the audio so you guys will be able to hear exactly what it is that we're seeing. And I'll be honest with you guys, I'm very intrigued about this. I, I want to see exactly what those bubbles are as well. But we're going to get anchored up here. we got to first try to find those bubbles first. So based off his pictures and his videos we're going to swing around and see if we can locate it and if we can we're going to jump in and go down and see exactly what those bubbles were so guys come along with us and we'll see what we find today all right guys so i think we found the actual spot i'm gonna be honest with you i've been diving here for 31 years and i've never seen anything like this this is a shocker to me but if you can see here behind me and i'll try to get you a close-up there are some type of bubbles coming up right let's see right well right there <laughs> So we're going to go over here and we're going to see if we can get a little bit closer view and see exactly what they are. And then I'm going to throw on my gear here in the floor and we're going to jump in and go dive it and see exactly what it is. All right, guys, so I'm going to try to get geared up really quick. Looks like the bubbles are still out there, so that's a good thing. I'm going to go slow when I do this uh, because we're very curious to see what this is. I don't know if it's, you know, it could be turtles, it could be anything. I know a lot of people commented on Facebook that it was like a vortex. The last thing I want to do is get caught in the vortex. Um, but we're going to drop down. We're going to see what it is real quick. And then we can all learn together. Because like I said, even after 31 years, I've never seen anything like this, to, to be honest with you. here in front of us. And guys, whatever you do, please don't try this at home. I am a trained professional, so uh, hopefully nothing bad will happen to me. Just to give you guys one quick look real quick. Like I said, the bubbles are still out here. It's right where Brent posted. You can see them there. And they're just coming up. So we're gonna jump in. We're definitely gonna be safe. I've got my dad here on the boat with us, as you can see. Got a die flag up to keep other boaters away from us. But uh, I'm gonna jump in real quick. And I'm gonna go slow as we go down. Hopefully you guys will be able to listen to the audio as I'm talking to my dad on the comm units. And you guys will be, and if you can't tell, I'm kind of nervous here. I'm actually shaking a little bit. Um, hopefully you guys will be able to hear everything that we're saying back and forth. That way we'll all learn what this is together. Sure your camera's on. Yeah. Get this camera turned on for you guys. I'm, I'm like literally shaking here. All right, camera's rolling. We're good there. We'll check audio as soon as we get in the water. Good air. Here we go. 
I'm gonna just send down and see what it is, okay? Boy, this is scary. I can see the bubble. The bubbles are kind of turning colors here. I've got a slight current.
All right, guys, so I just got back here to the shop, and i got to be honest with you, that was very, very strange. That little ball out there, the vortex is right out past there, and I jumped in, and for some reason I could feel it. It was just twirling me around and around, and I wasn't sure where I was at, and then all of a sudden I come up in a new area. And if you really believe that, something is seriously wrong with you. Guys, what those bubbles were, those were actual scuba divers. They were out here diving. If you're not familiar with our area, our training grounds are right out here in this generalized area. That orange ball you see floating out there, that is actually one of our training platforms. It's where we take students down to do their skill sets so that we can get them certified as divers. And what those bubbles were, those were divers that were actually underwater doing a little bit of work to some of the other sunken objects that are out here. Um, you know, we've got over a hundred different dive sites here in the lake that we can go dive at any given time. We have a lot of divers that'll come out here and they'll go, they want to see what our training ground look like unfortunately we can't control them as far as who has a flag who who does not it is required by law that anytime that you're out in open water or water that's open say for boating purposes that you are required to fly a flag I'll put a link up here for you we actually did a video on the importance of a dive flag so definitely go check that video out as well but guys when you see something on Facebook or on any social media post do your research before you comment there were some really good comments in there. I like the comments about the aerators and things like that because that is real. There are aerators and bodies of water that help keep the water clean. Uh, some of our quarries, our private quarries that we dive, we have aerators in them to help clean up the water, but there's none here in the Lake Hickory. That wasn't a vortex. It wasn't a sinkhole. Uh, some of my favorite comments that I saw in there was the time rip from uh, 2019 to 2020. That was definitely one of my favorites. Uh, but if you go through and you read every single comment that was posted on the original post, you'll start seeing some comments that were identical. I know two ladies had posted the exact same comment, word for word, verbatim. Allegedly, they both had a grandfather that worked for Duke Pyre. They both worked at the same place, and, and he commented that it was a sinkhole and all. Guys, do your research when you do this. Be... <laughs> You know, be educated when you make a comment on there. A lot of them were very funny, guys. We really got a kick out of this. And we hope you enjoyed this video, too. This was meant purely as a joke. There is no vortex in this lake. There is no sinkhole in this lake. Guys, I can promise you after 31 years, I know the bottom of this lake like the, the back of my hand. I've seen just about every inch of this lake. And there's no vortexes out there. There's no catfish uh, farting, making that big of a of air bubble under there. I know a lot of people said it was catfish farts which was another funny one by the way but guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you did see this post on facebook or if you know brent brent if you see this post just just know that it was divers you did absolutely nothing wrong those divers should have had a dive flag so you were perfectly safe and legal being that close but in general now that you know that it is divers if you see that just kind of stay away from the area once you realize if you do see a dive flag, like I said, check out the video I posted up top. There are laws regarding how close boaters can be to a dive flag. In this particular situation, the two divers that were down there did not have one. They should have by all means. But if you see a dive flag in the water, guys, just simply be safe. Be careful. Stay away from it. Be respectful of those divers as well. But guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you are interested in what's really at the bottom of this lake, come by and check us out. Get certified. We will take you out. We Once again, we have over 100 different documented dive sites here in the lake. We would be happy to take you down on a paid charter to let you see what's actually up underneath the water. But guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, simply smash that like button for me. Definitely share it as well. As always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Like us on Facebook. Pin us on Pincher, subscribe to us here on YouTube, and as always, guys, watch out for those vortexes. We appreciate your business. 
Guys, we really appreciate you watching our videos. If you liked it, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, simply hit that subscriber button for us and make sure you hit the little bell to turn on all notifications. If you want to see some other cool videos, make sure to click these links here. They could be scuba tips, they could be diving videos, search and recover videos, or gear reviews. Once again, guys, we really appreciate it.